Hi, my name is Adnan Maddox. I'm going to do a data points analysis of the Singapore office for 2021 for our main areas, which are risk and compliance. The main areas for um, recruitment this year um, for regulatory compliance have been within the buy side, asset management, and also within the crypto exchanges, specifically within regulatory compliance and also um, an area that we call MLRO, which is uh, money laundering officers. The influx for the regulatory compliance area on the buy side has mainly been driven from the opening of family offices and the movement of hedge funds from Hong Kong and also the Americas to Singapore. Um, as you know, the market Market in Singapore is highly concentrated with capital markets um, experience so you know it's called a lot of musical chairs when you look at the areas uh, within the MLRO area for the ex crypto exchanges what you will see is um, there's been a, an influx of um, clients from China the Baltic regions uh, the US Western Europe and some of the uh, Caribbean islands so the amount of MLRO vacancies has risen by 300% that's before we talk about the border closures and the pandemic. So Singapore is pushing really to be the number one um, country for crypto exchanges and the blockchain. Um, and the MAS is, is very strict on um, the quality of the candidates that it's looking for. So what you're finding is finding a strong MLRO is paramount. Um, and not many of them have the experience in the areas that we are looking for. So Singapore highs were actually up 15% um, for Q4 and they were up 65% um, year on year. However, 2020, uh, as you know, was um, the year the pandemic started. So therefore, um, highs were probably significantly down compared to um, 2021. Within the risk and trading area, um, You've, there's, there's three sort of areas that I'm going to discuss. The first one is operational risk. That's not normally a huge area for us. However, that grew um, significantly due to the amount of brokerages looking for operational risk people. That's been really driven by a large amount of retail traders. The retail traders have, have effectively grown the revenues for the brokerages. So therefore, they've had to reorganize and real. Re um, analyze their the whole uh, business functions so therefore they've had to bring in operational risk um, uh, vacancies and exposure to, to the market um, our core area which has uh, been um, quantum model development on the sell side um, that has remained steady um, we haven't seen much movement um, there's only sort of five percent increase in hires um, in 2021 compared to 2020 within the quant space that's where we're seeing quite a very different um, view of changes. So uh, C++ with equities exposure, both on buy and sell side. Um, on the sell side, um, it's, it's, it's strictly um, for the uh, Asia Pacific region, um, focusing on China. On the buy side, it's more about the strategies for exposure to China and Indian markets. When we're looking at C++ for the credit space, um, purely Chinese um, traders and uh, model developers and quants that we're, we're looking for. Um, so that's been up um, quite large. We're looking at a 13% increase from Q4 uh, compared to um, the previous quarter. Uh, the highs um, for the, throughout the year from 2020 to 2021 is uh, an increase of 23%. So one of the biggest issues that we're seeing in the recruitment sector for, for the clients is um, wage inflation. Um, the wage inflation uh, that candidates are asking for is between 30 to 40 percent. Uh, pre pandemic, this was 20 percent. So, candidates are asking for sign on bonuses, they're asking for guaranteed bonuses when the bonus comes in. So, clients are really having to juggle between you know getting in the right candidate or overpaying for something that pre pandemic was 30 to 40 percent less. So, the other issue that you're probably going to you're probably hearing about is candidates having multiple offers. So within the risk uh, sector, 70% of our candidates have one or more offer, 20% um, um, actually have two or more offers, and then that leaves us with 10% of people that just have one offer. So you can see that the, the competition for, for good candidates is, is, is rife. When we're looking at compliance, it's slightly less, 62% of candidates um, have one offer, 18% of candidates have uh, two offers and then a single offer uh, for the remainder 20%. So I, I do expect this to um, remain for the foreseeable future. Our clients are now having to sell themselves instead of candidates the other way around. 
Um, it's all in all, it's a very, very buoyant market. So please do get in touch with me if you are interested in, in hearing about vacancies within the risk space. And I will introduce you to my head of compliance, Serene Tan, for the compliance space. Thanks for your time. Goodbye.